Hello guys, in this video we'll learn the question based on how to find the eigenvalues as well as the eigenvector. So let us see the question. Find the eigenvalues and the eigenvector of the matrix. This is a 2 cross 2 matrix. Okay. So for which we are going to find out the eigenvalue as well as the eigenvector. Now the first step, we have to find out the characteristic equation. Okay. The first step is to find the characteristic equation equation now how to find characteristic equation i will tell you two ways okay so for two cross two any two cross two matrix this is the procedure you have to follow this is the steps you need to follow the first step is that you have to find out characteristic equation we have two methods one is by the normal traditional method that is a minus lambda i equal to zero so determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 you have to put and substitute this is nothing but a matrix you consider this as whatever question in question whatever matrix is given you consider it as a matrix lambda i i is nothing but the identity matrix which is nothing but 2 cross 2 identity matrix okay we'll see that one second method is this is a simple one that is the formula lambda square minus s1 lambda plus s2 equal to 0 so this is a simple way to find out now here when you look into this what is lambda uh, s1 s1 is nothing but the sum of diagonal elements okay sum of diagonal elements and what is s2 s2 is nothing but the determinant of the matrix that is determinant of this matrix okay lambda is just the lambda that is something but the eigenvalue okay that you will get now let us go by the first way that is a minus lambda i is equal to 0 determinant of that now when i write this one see carefully determinant of 5 uh, i'll write this one so a minus so 5 minus lambda this is 4 this is 1 and this is 2 minus lambda now how i got this so equal to 0 okay now how i got this simple thing whatever is there in the diagonal what is this one this is the diagonal elements okay so diagonal elements you have to just subtract it with lambda that's it okay so if i want to tell you the logic behind this see i'll cover most of all the parts okay so that you won't get any doubts and all so a minus lambda i i would find out right so what is a a is nothing but five what are the matrix we got five four then one two okay minus lambda is the uh, value eigenvalue and i matrix i will be the same as the a matrix order that is 2 cross 2 so 1 0 0 1 this is nothing but the identity matrix 2 cross 2 okay so this is what i have done a minus lambda i which should be you have to equate it to 0 now when i when you do this one so 4 1 2 then lambda you have to multiply here right so each and every element you have to multiply with lambda so this will become lambda 0 into lambda is 0 then again 0 this will be lambda okay so that that's why i said diagonal elements only you have to concentrate so equal to zero now when i subtract this one each and every element you have to subtract so 5 minus lambda 5 minus lambda 4 minus 0 4 1 minus 0 1 2 minus lambda so 2 minus lambda correct so this is what i was getting so this is the same thing as this one okay so only the thing is that you have to find out the determinant okay so let us find out the determinant of this simple thing just uh, multiply this one so this will be 5 minus lambda into 2 minus lambda minus this one 1 into 4 which is equal to equated to 0 now here just multiply 5 into 10 minus 5 lambda minus 2 lambda plus lambda square minus 4 is equal to 0 now here uh, combine this thing okay lambda square is there 10 minus 6 4 is 6 oh, i'll write first lambda this thing so minus 7 lambda okay then here plus 6 equal to 0 correct plus 6 equal to 0 so this is the thing i got this is the equation i got okay now here for this one i have to find out what i have to find out the lambda value before that i'll keep this as as it is now let us go for this method okay so this is the first method i can take this is the second method this is also easy method okay so what you have to do lambda square minus s1 what is s1 so i will first find out s1 s1 is nothing but sum of diagonal elements 5 plus 
you can see the diagonal elements 5 plus 2 it is 5 plus 2 which is equal to 7 sum of diagonal elements what is s2 s2 is nothing but the determinant of 5 4 1 2 remember this so what is the determinant of this simply multiply 5 into 2 10 minus 1 into 4 4 which is equal to 6 okay now just substitute here so this formula is plus 2 s2 equal to 0 so lambda square minus s1 that is 7 lambda plus s2 what is 6 equal to 0 so you can observe in both the cases i am getting the same answer correct in this method also this method also which one you felt is this one of course this one so you can go by this method okay it's simple one only remember here minus a then plus a okay this is for two cross two matrix now after getting the equation you can this is a quadratic equation right you can find out the lambda values which will give you the eigenvalues okay so two eigenvalues you will get so you can uh, just apply the splitting of the model to factorization okay so for a factorization so i'll just factorize so this one okay you, or otherwise you can directly put it in the calculator so by splitting up the middle term what i'll do so uh multiply this to six into one it is six then minus one is the seven minus seven is the middle term so when you multiply two numbers you should get six and when you add you should get minus seven this should be the criteria for splitting up the middle term now here so six i should get right so six factorization you do so one six you will get one into six is six then 2 into 3 is 6 any other thing no so 1 and 6 i can take because i can get minus 7 so i'll take the numbers minus 1 minus 6 correct so i'll do here minus 1 lambda minus 6 lambda simple because minus 1 into minus 6 is plus 6 and minus 1 minus 6 is minus 7 now here lambda square minus lambda minus 6 lambda plus 6 equal to 0 take grouping so lambda you can take outside lambda minus 1 here also you should get lambda minus 1 so i should put here minus 6 okay so this will become lambda minus 1 equal to 0 so from this i can get the value of lambda which is equal to 6 and here from here it is equal to 1 directly so i have this calculator just observe here so what i need to do just to go for mode then here one option is the equation fifth one then uh, the quadratic equation you can choose that is the third option right so in this a b c they are asking right so just substitute the coefficient of a is nothing but one b is minus seven c is six so one minus seven and c is six press equal to you will get x1 value as six and one more value it is one so two values you will get so directly you can get it in the calculator also so this here also we have two methods if you are allowed to use calculator then go ahead with that okay this is nothing but a lengthy process go with the calculator itself so lambda values we got this is nothing but the icon values okay so you can directly get the values next after finding out the eigenvalues, next step, this is the second step, which is to find the eigenvector. Okay. So how to find eigenvector? Simple. Matrix A minus lambda i into x should be equal to 0. This is what the procedure in order to find out the eigenvector. Now A is the matrix which was given already. Lambda i, again the same thing. X is nothing but the column matrix which contains the unknown variables x and y. Okay which is equal to zero. This is what we have to find out. X and Y, this column matrix, which will give you the eigenvector. Now for each value of eigenvalue, corresponding eigenvector you will get. For lambda is equal to six, you will get one certain eigenvector. Then for lambda equal to next one is one, right? Lambda equal to one, another eigenvector I'll get. So for lambda equal to six, let us find out. Here, observe carefully. This is nothing but I have written the same thing. A minus lambda I. This is what a minus lambda i. x is nothing but column matrix equal to 0. Now put here lambda value as 6. So this will become 5 minus 6, 4, 1, 2 minus lambda into x and y. So this one is nothing but this one becomes 5 minus 6 is minus 1. This is 4. This is 1. Oh, sorry, 2 minus 6, right? This is minus 4 into x, y 
equal to 0. Now you have to write the equation. Okay. How to write the equation? Just multiply. Co uh, row into column. Row into column. Two equations you will get. Minus 1 into x. Minus x. Plus 4y equal to 0. Here 0 is there. Then again. X minus 4y equal to 0. So I got two equations. Right. So in these two equations you can take any one equation. Okay. Any one equation you can take. Why? Because both the equation will give me the same answer. Okay, you can try it once. So when I take, so I'll just take this one. Minus x plus 4y. Okay, minus x plus 4y equal to 0. Shift one variable to other side. So I can shift x to or otherwise I'll shift this one. So minus x equal to minus 4y. Okay, so keep one variable on the left side. Add another variable on the right hand side. Now, carefully you listen that I have to make the coefficient of the variables as 1 plus 1. Remember this. Coefficients of the variables, both the variables should be 1. How to make that one? See, simple. Here, both sides minus is there. Just cancel it out. So, x equal to 4y I got. Now, here it is 1. No problem. But here, I should have 1. So, I can just divide it by 4. But when you divide here, 4, here also you have to divide. So here also you have to divide. So, this will get cancelled for 4. So, what is left? I have left with x by 4 equal to y by 1 correct now observe carefully this thing x coefficient is 1 y coefficient is 1 so how to write the eigenvector this is x y right this is nothing but the eigenvector so it should be equal to whatever is denominator of x that is the corresponding value of x that is 4 denominator of y it is 1 so this is nothing but the eigenvector now for lambda is equal to 1, I have to find out the next eigenvector, right? So same procedure. So this matrix will become 5 minus 1, it is 4. And here again 4, this is 1. 2 minus 1 is again 1. So here x, y and equal to 0. Here I can form two equations, right? So this row into this column, this row into this column. So two equations. 4x plus 4y is equal to 0 and x plus y is equal to 0. So I got two equations in which I can take one equation because both the equation will give me the same answer. So I will take the first equation which is 4x equal to sorry 4x plus 4y equal to 0. So as I said before you have to keep one variable on one side that is LHS side and another variable, variable on RHS side. So 4x I will keep here. I will shift this to that side that is minus 4y and cancel I can cancel it out 4 or otherwise I will just divide otherwise cancel it out okay so just cancel it out 4 4 now what is the remaining thing x equal to minus y now I should have what plus 1 as the coefficient of x as well as the y but here minus 1 is there minus is there so I will just divide it by minus 1 here also I will just divide it by minus 1. So what will happen here? This is x by minus 1 equal to this to get cancelled. So this is y by 1. Now what is the coefficient? You observe carefully. Here the coefficient is 1. Here also it is 1 plus 1. Okay. So now how to form the eigenvector? So this is the eigenvector form column matrix. It is equal to whatever is the denominator of x. You can just write it. And the denominator of y you can just write it. Now the thing is that this is the vector I got. Okay. Minus 1 comma 1. And for another vector was for the corresponding lambda equal to 6 value, I was getting 4, 1, right? So you can write it here, 4, 1. One more thing I should tell you here that I got the two corresponding eigenvectors. Now for this one, this vector, it might, as I said before, that the sign might change. Sign might change in the sense you might be getting 1, comma minus 1 instead of minus 1 comma 1 it doesn't matter that's what i am telling this is as you are you might have studied in the eigen vector properties that the sign out may be taken outside see if i take here minus 1 comma suppose this is my eigen vector i'll just show you minus 1 and this is 1 right if i take minus 1 outside so inside what should be this should be plus 1 this should be minus 1 then i'll get this value see it all matters so whatever is there inside the matrix it matters okay so you might get the the values will remain the same but just a sign change might change okay